All right, so I'm coming at you at 11 o'clock at night on vacation because Flowdesk just released some new updates and I'm so excited to dive into them, like show you how I would use them, um, what's the benefit of the new features. Um, and so let's just go ahead and dive right into all of the new stuff. All right. And of course, I forgot to set up screen recording, so let's roll. All right, so the first thing that they released is being able to resend emails to people who did not open it the first time. And so this is awesome because especially if you're in a promotional period where you're promoting, say, like a workshop or um, a webinar or something like that, this is going to be great because you can resend it to people who maybe didn't get a chance to see it the first time. Now it has to be within like 24 hours has to have passed before you can resend and you can also only resend one time um, so that your spam rate really isn't high and people are unsubscribing. And so if you want to resend, how you do that is you go into your emails and then what you're going to do is click the little three dots and then you would hit resend to unopens. I'm actually not going to resend this because it's just like a weekly newsletter. So if they don't open it, it's okay. I'm not in a promotional period um, to where I like really, really want them to to open things so it's gonna say hey um, this one says let's get started resending this email to the 815 subscribers who didn't open I can go in there and I can hit RE that means like hey like responding to in the same um, subject line or you can change it to a new subject line so if you're like hey I want to like a B test this subject line didn't really go as planned last time let's change it to something else and you can test it that way um, and then you can also say, hey, do you want to resend it now or do you want to wait and resend it? Maybe you sent it in the morning and you want to see if, they'll more, if they're more likely to open it in the evening. And so that is one feature that I have been asking Flowdesk for inside the community. And so I'm really happy to see that because I used it a lot whenever I was with ActiveCampaign. Now, the next thing is you can follow people's journey and you can see what they call like the story of your email and this is so cool. So to see this, what you do is you hit the little graph right here and um, you can hit more details and this is going to take you in so it, you can see, see, explore the story of your send. So I can see that I had sent this to 1,686, I had 480 opens, 44 clicks, 61 bounced, meaning that 61 of them, they either have like an auto responder on or maybe the email address isn't valid anymore, so they bounced. How many people unsubscribed and then how many people marked it spam? And then you can also see they have it. So it says 2K, how many were delivered? And I'm gonna be doing another Flowdesk tutorial um, next month in June about how to get your, um, your emails to land in more people's inbox and not spam or the promotional folder. So definitely click subscribe um, if you want to hear more about how you can better uh, put together your emails and avoid certain words and stuff like that so that your emails land in people's inboxes. Um, and then from there, you can just see how many people open and actually clicked and what your, your open rate was and click rate. You can also see what people prefer. So you can see 70% of my audience actually read my emails on desktop and what the deliverability is. Another thing that I'm going to be going over in future um, Flowdesk tutorials is how to raise your deliverability rate because that is the start of a story. So if people um, aren't even receiving your emails inside their inbox, then they can't open it and they can't click. So deliverability is really key. So you can see out of 1,686, 1,658 were actually delivered. So I have a 98% deliverability rate, which is amazing. Um, and then you can see other stuff. So these are just deeper insights and analytics. Um, and so I'm really excited about this particular release. Another one has to do with affiliate. So if you have affiliate income through um, Flowdesk, you can see more insights into that. Um, and how you get to your affiliates is if you go back to your main dashboard and you click on your name and then you hit 
uh, share flow desk which i have an affiliate link down in the comment section below so if you want to check out uh, flow desk for yourself uh, you can definitely go ahead and click on uh, the flow desk affiliate link inside my bio um, but that just goes over how many people were actually referred to you um, or you referred to Flowdesk and how many people um, went ahead and they bought bought Flowdesk after the trial or if their trial ran out and they didn't, you can like follow up with them that way. Um, but those are the newest things that came out on Flowdesk that I'm very, very excited about, as you can tell. And there are some other cool things that they're going to be doing later as far as imp in improving um, workflows as well as making custom fields. So whenever you're creating an opt-in, you can create custom fields for, for people to fill out. So those are the next things coming up. And of course, I will be back with another email telling you how I would use this and why this is beneficial to your business. All right, peace out.